Shabbat Shalom to the elect of Israel. Started with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, Hebrew Israelites who are scattered among all nations, looking like the other nations and speaking their tongues. Shalom to all of you. Shabbat shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, let's face the east and give the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, Kohlo Imla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. Much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Aqua, which will be you brothers. And few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Listening and learning in silence as the scriptures say so. I'm your brother, Manazar Gobar, representing warriors for Yahweh Shai, Pasadena, Texas branch. All right, so low willing to lesson be edifying. All right, so I'm gonna do a like a, a local in the news. All right, um, uh, no, out here in Pasadena, it's not really considered Houston. It's like it's it's it's, it's its own city, but we're in the same county, Harris County. All right, but um, uh, from Houston, right? It's from a uh, news break, right? News uh, news break, yeah. Um. Right, you see this guy's face right here, Northern Kingdom, I'm guessing. Looks like it. All right. We're going to go into this article right quick. Man allegedly told cops he killed three burglars during home invasion. But the victims were his mother, sister, and brother-in-law. All right. This was by David Harris two days ago. All right, so let's get to the point here. Brian J. Fernandez Hernandez. Damn, you got two last names. That's common for Northern Kingdom right there. <laughs> Brian J. Fernandez Hernandez inset allegedly murdered his mother, sister, and brother-in-law in Houston, H-Town. Then told cops the relatives were burglars. Mugshot, Houston police, screen grab. And you see right there, that's the mugshot. All right. You cannot tell me just by looking at him. He had unclean spirits on him, onto him. Hey, there be spirits of vengeance that's created for vengeance, right? Just paraphrasing the uh, scripture in the Sirach. The Apocrypha. All right. Let's go back here. So, continuing on from here. After a man allegedly shot three people to death, he told Texas, Texas cops he was defending himself during a home invasion. But officers say they quickly determined that was a lie as the victims were relatives who were staying with him. Mm. Hey, hey, somebody, hey, they got judged. The Lord killed them, man. The Lord said that. Deuteronomy chapter, uh, was it 32, if I'm not mistaken? It goes into how that I kill, I make alive. I wound and I heal. I, the Lord, yeah, how about me? How should I do all these things? Just paraphrasing. Uh, all right. Um, so they were judged by means of the Lord using Brian Jane Fernandez Hernandez to put him to death. Um, down here, continue on down here to the related coverage. Brian J. Hernandez Fernandez, 27 year old, called Houston police shortly after 3 p.m. Saturday to report a home invasion at his home 
in the 10,500 block of Hammer Lee Boulevard. A press release said he said he shot the three supposed burglars inside his apartment. Officers went inside to find two women and a man dead. Detectives spoke with Hernandez, who, re who reiterated his story about the home invasion, claiming he shot the three people in self-defense. But, quote unquote, further investigation and evidence from the scenes revealed there was no such home invasion and he had actually murdered his mother, sister and brother in law. According to cops, his mother, 65 year old Leonor Hernandez, lived with him at the home. His sister, 43 year old Karen Herrett. Herrera, I think that's how you pronounce it, Herrera, um, and her husband, 38-year-old, Thomas, okay, that sounds Polish, I think, cool, let me double check, so like, yeah, let me double check, hold on, okay, yeah, it must be definitely a different language, but you see right there, Thomas, okay, Thomas, had been visiting for the last several days prior to the shooting, police said. Now Hernandez is facing three counts of capital murder. Quote unquote, the home invasion deal is not true. My mother, sister, and her husband were all executed in their apartment. The suspect's half brother, Carlos Flores, told local ABC. Officially, officially, eight KT arts. But you get the point there. Apparently, uh, his family members were burglars, right? But really, <laughs> the Lord had killed them. Yeah, the Lord killed them. Let me get that. Let me get something right quick. Uh, I was quoting that earlier. I want to make sure I got the right one though. That the Lord killeth and make alive. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39, King James Version. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. So the Lord controls life and death. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can, del that can deliver out of my hand. So it is the Heavenly Father, the God in the Bible, Yahawa. Through his son, our Lord, our Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, who has been given us that, that type of power to bring judgment, right? Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is the one that orchestrated that. He did that. He put the spirit on to Brian J. Fernandez Hernandez to kill uh, his mother, sister, and brother-in-law. All right. The Lord did this. All right. Spirits of vengeance. Spirits of vengeance. Uh, my bad. Vengeance. Okay, pop up somewhere. This... Let's see. Uh, okay, the book of Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, chapter 39, verses 28 through 31 in the Apocrypha. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Vengeance meaning punishment, revenge. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease, satisfy, and appease 
meaning satisfied, and appeased the wrath of him, Yahweh that made them. Right, so these spirits of vengeance also uh, will persuade, I guess you could say, these wicked people on earth to do such biddings. Okay? Okay? You have spirits of vengeance that will come in a, in a physical form too. You know, the, the Lord can literally use people to delete others, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, right down here, right? Oh, Salakia. Yeah. Where it says fire, fire and hell. Okay. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these are created for vengeance. So that was vengeance from Yahweh Bashmi al The Lord took revenge. He he executed punishment upon Brian J. Uh, Hernandez Fernandez uh, family, okay? By using Brian to do that, okay? Um, fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. Think of like a crocodiles, a lion, a hyena, a wolf, a dog, and etc. Right? Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents. And a sword punishing the wicked to destruction. To destruction, the sword. Right? The so-called white man. He is the sword of our power, his 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 whipping stick to bring judgment upon wicked Israelites. Okay, um, sword. Uh, also think of uh, a missile, right? The ICBMs, the nukes. Think of an uh, instrument of death. Think of war, right? Uh, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. So these spirits take pleasure. This is what they desire to do. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Whose commandment? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth. So they don't stand by, just waiting for the green light to bring judgment, to bring vengeance, to appease his wrath. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is, when the time is right. And when their time is come, they shall not trans transgress his word. So when these spirits of vengeance receive the command from Yahweh Bashmi Shai to appease his wrath, go and execute judgment. Today is the day that such and such is going to be judged in this way, this matter, at this time, they'll do, do it just like that. They take pleasure. They take honor in doing that for Yahweh Bashmi by means of having someone get mauled to death by a crocodile, a lion, a shark. Some final destination type of death. Putting this spirit onto Brian, Brian J. Fernandez Hernandez to kill his mother, his sister, and brother-in-law, and etc. Okay. All right, uh, let's get this right quick. Matthew 10. Matter of fact, I think I already got it up here. Yeah, okay. This is the book of Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 to 36, KJV. Red lettering. So the Lord Yahweh Shai is speaking here. Who the world is still ignorantly calling Yahusha, Jesus Christ, and etc. Is Yahawashai. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Right? To bring war, chaos, calamity, sorrows, destruction, missiles upon America especially. Right? Verse 35. For I am come to set a man at reverence, right? Uh, 
conflict, okay, conflict against his father and against his, it's like it, and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Verse 36, a man's foes, right? A man's worst enemy, a man's worst enemy, people's worst enemies. And a man's foes shall be of day, so like it shall be day of his own household. A man's foes shall be day of his own household. So your worst enemy are going to be the very person who you eat with at the same table, who you live under the same roof with. All right. The Lord is going to break families apart. He's going to have family members becoming each other's worst enemies. The same family member who you said for many years, I love you, papito. I love you, mamita. I love you, tia. I love you, tio. I, 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 I'll take care of you if you need a, if you need somewhere to stay. You know, if you, if you need help, you can always call me. Are going to be the same people. Are going to be the same individuals. That's going to become your worst enemy. All right. They live together. They lived together. And what did Brian J. Fernandez? Hernandez did to them, he killed them because the Lord did this so. The Lord did it. So that's an example of what's, is what's, what's to come to pass. A lot of you uh, Israelites that's putting your family before the Lord, you loving your family a lot more than the Lord. The Lord is going to use who and what you love so much against you if that makes sense all right uh let's see let's get one more we'll close out 24 and 12. And this is the book of matthew chapter 24 verse 12 in the kjv red lettering red lettering yahweh shai speaking here and because Iniquity shall abound. Iniquity, us uh, like it. Iniquity goes into wickedness, right? Sin upon sin shall abound, increase. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So, because of the increase of the sins upon sins upon sins here in America and worldwide. That's going to cause the love of many to just wax colder and colder and colder toward each other. Like I say, it's hitting a breakdown. In the last days, people will become more and more cold hearted. You cannot tell me this is love right here. That was cold hearted. All right. Let's get one more. Salakia. Yeah. Hopefully this be the last one. Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 8 in the KJV. A time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. We are in a time of war, we are in a time of hate. Why? Because we're witnessing what? We're witnessing Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. Uh, happening more and more every day and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold in the last days people will become more and more cold hearted even family members love for each other are going to uh, fade away at some point All right. so Lord one of the lesson was edifying playing upon the tables to the elect, to the house of mourning of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, repent, Yahshua Allah, or perish. Let's close out by giving the motion to do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring and works. Shalom to you, believers. To the Akim wa Akwa, which will be you brothers, few modest and sisters, 
who do subscribe to this truth, listening and learning in silence, as the scriptures say so.